Now I never get around to it. I end up finding somebody who can make it for me. <laughs> Today on Homes and Lifestyles Canada, Jeremy Nagel on how to pick your real estate lawyer. An antidote for picture perfect pillows. APIS member Jim shows us tools of the trade for a good home inspector. And our panel talks about setting the stage for your home. And who doesn't love a great home tour? Homes and Lifestyles is brought to you by Kahane Law and Hayworth. Thanks for joining us today on Homes and Lifestyles Canada. I'm Kim Hayden, your host and veteran agent. Today we're going to talk about home staging. Everything you've wanted to know about getting your home ready for the market and being able to still live in it on a daily life. But first, let's take a look at our home tour. Hello, my name is Deandra Malenica. Today we are featuring a classic estate home on Chestmere's Lakeside Greens Golf Course in one of the best locations on the golf course. This is affordable lifestyle living priced at just $547.9. Come on in. There's double door access to the tiled entrance with cathedral ceilings. Upstairs, there's a large master bedroom with a walk-in closet and an ensuite with a separate shower and spa-like tub. There are also two secondary bedrooms with another full bath. The living room and dining room has a huge vaulted ceiling that adds to the bright, spacious feel as you entertain your guests. This classic kitchen has quality solid oak cabinetry, granite countertops, an island cooktop, and separate wall oven. The breakfast nook is surrounded by sunny windows and garden door access to the deck with spectacular views of the golf course. The large custom built-in entertainment center in the family room creates a focal point for this warm and inviting space. There's also a main level den that's perfect for your home office. The walkout basement is 1,300 square feet of unspoiled space awaiting the custom finish of this home's next lucky owner. This is truly one of the best locations on the golf course, backing onto the seventh fairway with sunny south exposure and expansive views of the mature trees and ponds. The city of Chestmere is a recreational oasis just five minutes from the east edge of Calgary and just a 20 minute drive to the downtown core. Very easily accessible by Glenmore Trail, 17th Avenue and 16th Avenue, it's a fantastic location for Calgary commuters and also home to many who work locally or run their own businesses. Today we are featuring a classic estate home built in 1991, located in one of the most beautiful locations on the golf course. This is affordable lifestyle living priced at $547.9. I've been a realtor since 2011 and in 2014 I joined forces with my mother, Corrine Watson a longtime top realtor and Chestmere resident specialist since 1998. Together, we are the award-winning team of Watson & Associates with CIR Realty, which is the number one brokerage in central and southern Alberta. While we specialize in Chestmere, we are happy to serve clients in all communities of Calgary and the surrounding areas. We are proud to be a part of CIR Realty's One for All program in support of ARCS and the Ronald McDonald House Charities. Hi, I'm Jeremy Nagel, broker and owner of Canada Mortgage Direct. Today I'd like to touch on how you choose your mortgage professional. Let's face it, this is likely the largest transaction of your life, and you want a professional with your best interests at heart. Here are our top three basic questions you should be asking of any mortgage professional. What strategy are you recommending and why? What commitment are you giving to me personally to manage my mortgage over the long term? And what is the penalty structure and how is it calculated? Here's an interesting fact. Did you know that Canadians, on average, will break their mortgage 60% of the time, or right around three and a half years? Let's be honest, life throws us curveballs, and the timing is never great. But asking the right questions and choosing the right broker can save you thousands. For more information, please visit us online, CanadaMortgageDirect.com, or give us a call. With me today, I have Anna Cummings from a, &A Interiors and Natasha Borosh with uh, Design Home Staging. So I'm going to start with Natasha because you are into the actual meat of staging homes, right? And I've always heard that vacant don't make it, then if you can smell it, you can't sell it. So tell me, in staging, is it really an overwhelming, like how big is it? Are we looking tens of thousands of dollars or what is home staging? 
So a lot of people have the perception that home staging is definitely very expensive and a lot of times they don't go and start looking into what it actually takes to stage a home. Um, I always say it's like looking at a blank canvas at an empty home until you create that picture and you put it, you're able to you know put all the pieces to the get together to create that picture people don't understand the impact of it. So staging can cost can range from anywhere from $500 to partially which is partial accessories up to a you know couple thousand dollars a month. It's a monthly rental and it only goes the way we do it is 30 days at a time. Well, and so statistically speaking, if you stage your home, it sells faster. Absolutely. So it's, it's money well invested, right? Um, so speaking of staged and gorgeous homes, we're going to quickly check in and take a look at our next home on our home tour. Hi, I'm Thomas Young with Remax Real Estate Central. Welcome to 75 Gloucester Crescent Southwest in the community of Glen Morgan. Come on in. Glen Morgan was developed in the 1950s. It is comprised of RC1 and RC2 lots. This particular parcel is 55 feet wide by 120 feet deep. This house is located on a quiet street with easy access to transportation, close proximity to three schools and parks. The exterior of the house has brand new luxe windows, front railings, new eaves troughs and downspouts. The southwest backyard has a fire pit, RV gate, shed, and a brand new concrete pad for those summer barbecues. This house has close to 1,200 square feet of main floor living space. It has three bedrooms up, two full bathrooms. The basement is fully developed with another bedroom, a large rec room, and another full bathroom. What I love about this house is that all the walls were removed between the dining, living, and kitchen areas. The all new kitchen has white soft closing drawers with black pearl granite countertop and gray marble backsplash. To top it all off, all new stainless steel appliances. The house features all new wide plank laminate flooring throughout the main floor. Another feature of this house is the large master bedroom. It also features a rare three-piece ensuite with a white stand-up shower, new vanity, and toilet. The fully developed basement has new carpets and a large rec room for family entertainment. Another bedroom in the basement with an egress window, a walk-in closet that leads to a three-piece bathroom. What stands out is the grey wavy tiles and the 12mm glass shower door. This renovated home has been approved and inspected adhering to all City of Calgary building codes. This property is listed for $619,800. Thank you for joining me today at 75 Gloucester Crescent Southwest. If you need additional information, please visit thomasyoung.ca or call 403-708-9722. Up next, we'll hear what Anna has to say about staging, but first, let's watch one of Anna's anecdotes. Hi, I'm Anna Cummings of ANA Interiors, and today we're going to look at creating the perfect pillow scheme for your bed and sofa. If shoes make the outfit, then pillows make the room. Whether you're layering them on the bed or your sectional, colors, patterns, and textures are so important. It's a small touch, but it screams luxury. Here's how to do it. Dress your bed with this simple formula. Start with the largest pillow, a euro, a decorative sham next, and then accent pillows. Now each of these patterns should be different, but also have the same colors of your room. Sometimes I like to change the scheme to include a fun bolster. Play with patterns and have fun. If you love it, it'll work. For sofas and sectionals, I mix it up even more. In the corner of the sectional, a really large pattern pillow looks great layered with two different other sizes, one of which is a lumbar. On either arm end, have coordinating pillows to tie in the whole scheme. Add a comfy throw and you're done. Play with how the pillows are finished and trimmed. Piping or flanges are nice. Fringes and beads are playful. It's these dressmaker details that add interest and personality to your space. You could have the most basic sofa, but when you add a special pillow or three, it elevates your seating beyond compare. Always look for feather blend inserts. They are hands down more comfortable and hold their shape for an eternity. Here's a pillow I just made with a vintage Hermes silk scarf on one side and a sumptuous velvet on the other. Tree chic. All of these looks I'm talking about can be found on AnnaInteriors.com, House, Pinterest, and Instagram. 
follow or tweet me at ANA underscore interiors. See you next time when we chat about where to splurge and where to save in your dining room. We're back. Anna, tell me, as a professional home interior designer, taking staging, I know that's one aspect of mm -hmm. what you do. How can we live in a house or at least love a home, especially with the larger ones? You're going to have it for sale for a little bit longer. What are some of your tips? To actually live in a space and have it on the market is a little bit of a difficult challenge, especially if you have pets too, because you have to corral them or put yes. them in a different area. So um, there are ways that you can live in a house successfully. You just have to always stay on top of it. And maybe, you, maybe that does include having a professional cleaner come in more often yeah. than you would actually have. And just you know, being conscientious, really, about making your bed every day and tidying up your food and keeping everything clean. Maybe having some um, like tools, like uh, little hidden cubbies that you can slide the dog dish into or Absolutely. put away the kids' toys or something. Mm -hmm. An action plan. An action plan. Yes. Excellent, excellent. So we're going to get into an action plan in just a moment. Um, we're going to continue this discussion, but first let's take a look at the next stop on our home tour. Hi, I'm Doug Hayden. Welcome to Mackenzie Town. You're going to see a beautiful home here today. But first, I'm going to grab a coffee at my favorite coffee shop, the Second Cup. Just a reminder, Mackenzie Town is known for its parks, schools. you got High Street. You can walk to everything. It's designed as a walkable neighborhood. Hope you like the house. Welcome to number 12 Presswick Manor. Beautiful home, original owner home. We actually helped these folks design this house. So you'll note the dining room up front, the den here. And as you move towards the back of the house from the front den area, you'll note that the kitchen has two extra height cabinetry. So it's maple. Kitchen's been done extra large, so it's been pushed out a little bit. Also, you notice that there's bump outs in the property. So you'll notice as we go through this home, there are speakers in a lot of the rooms on all levels so you can play music all the time in your home if you like, which a lot of people do like. The master is really large. Actually, the nice thing about this home is the size of the floor plate. So you've got a lot of room for a California king bed and the furniture, bathroom. You've got the double sinks with a tower in the middle for division of space. Beautiful corner tub with glass block, so very private. And then you're going to have a shower. You've got the toilet in here, which has a separate door, which is nice. And then a large uh, walk-in closet. So in the kids' rooms, both uh, kids' rooms have views of the park as well. So good size, closet, views of the park. So one of the great features about this home is the finished basement. Fully finished, insulated all throughout. There's speakers built in because of course if you come over here, you're gonna see why I think this basement is so good. Obviously set up for surround sound theater type setup, but the walls are all insulated. So the ceiling was insulated, walls have been insulated. So if there's somebody down here late at night watching TV, it's not going to affect anybody upstairs. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, a beautiful home, obviously. This home is actually a really great value. Mackenzie Town is a great family area, and this home sits in the estate area of Presswick, and it's priced at just $569.9, so great value for any family looking to buy in this house. By the way, if you want to see this house or any of the others in the southeast where we're area specialists, please give us a call. Our number is 403-257-0057 or check out our website at kimanddughayden.com. Again, thanks for watching. Hello, I'm Sean Burstein and my company is Design. Design provides professional staging services to assist in the marketing and sale of residential properties. Staging involves the placement of furniture and decor into a given space to help visually enhance its appearance. A well-staged property can add value and shorten the time it takes to sell that home. We're here today to provide a tip or two on some simple and easy ways to enhance the look of your home. My partner Don is now going to illustrate a couple different ways on how to transform the look of your coffee table into a visually stunning centerpiece. Don't be shy to mix different elements together to provide a distinct and varied eclectic look. Most of the items you see on the table can be easily purchased through local retailers. You can see that by changing some small features you can produce a different look and feel. So, this is where we're just going to chat in regards to 
how do we survive staging? How do we survive the sale? How do we get it sold and gone? So you had said some tips. Yes, yeah, so I think in order to start, we start at the front door. Make sure the front entry, you've got curb appeal, the front door is not um, flaking paint, that kind of thing, perfect. And then your entry, because that really sets the stage for your home. It sets the stage for everything. So you want your entry to be wow and memorable. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So what are some of the, the common things that you see that you go, oh, you didn't need to do that? or? Well, one of the things we always suggest is we'll say, you know, take out down the window coverings. Because a lot of times they'll, you know, it'll just create that space and make it darker. And it you mean be. like the curtains? Curtains, yes. blinds. Yes. Lighting is Lighting so is very important. important. Lighting mm -hmm. is key. Now, scent. What are some of the top scents that you can recommend? I'll start with you. Well, a lot of times what we'll do is we'll say, have the house cleaned, then usually we can go in, get it staged, and then have little things like candles. A lot of times realtors will have candles burning while they're in the home, or just to make sure that it smells clean and fresh. I personally love air diffusers. Yes. Those, Those reeds. are the ones with this reeds on top. Yeah. Yes, okay. or ones that you can plug in, but there are some yeah. really nice ones on the market right now that are also decorative and smell beautiful too. Up next, we have the Alberta Professional Home Inspector Society. Hello, my name is Jim Palzen with Spot On Home Inspections Limited, and I'm a member of the Alberta Professional Home Inspector Society, or APHIS. Today, I'm going to talk to you about some of the tools that a professional home inspector may use during a home inspection. In the early days, home inspectors used a few basic tools, such as a flashlight and a ladder but things certainly are more complicated today. Tools have come along that make the detection of problems often easier. Some examples are digital cameras, carbon monoxide detectors, moisture meters, and infrared cameras. Infrared cameras are mainly used to look for missing insulation and moisture issues, such as leaking windows or plumbing. It's important to remember that infrared cameras are not x-ray machines. They cannot look inside walls. They can only detect differences in surface temperature. Home inspectors should have proper training to use these devices. In the future, drones may become common for roof inspections, but this is an area that has a lot of regulatory issues around it, so you want to be careful that your inspector has the right qualifications and licenses in place if they're going to use a drone. If you have any questions on this or any other topic, please go to afis.ca. I'll leave you with our picture of the week. Bathroom exhaust fan should be installed above a toilet, not inside a shower. Hot showers are nice, but not this hot. Does the cold outside have you craving the inside of a theater? Are you looking for a film that goes beyond the scope of the average blockbuster? The Calgary International Film Festival has the answer, and it doesn't mean waiting until next fall for the next fest. Doc Soup is a monthly series of the best documentary film being made today. Uh, the Calgary International Film Festival presents it in partnership with, the Tor with Toronto's Hot Docs International Documentary Festival. November through April, on the first Wednesday of each month, Doc Soup brings six of the year's most talked about documentaries to Calgary audiences. And we know that Calgary audiences love Docs. Doc Soup has been selling out for quite a long time. Uh, and even within the Calgary International Film Festival each September, the documentary series is one of the best attended of the festival. The World Cup Finals. I'd say the biggest day in Irish international soccer history. On December 6, documentary fans will see No Stone Unturned, a look at the lengthy quest for justice for six Irish soccer fans killed at their local pub in 1994. Terrorists shoot 11 people in the back as they watch the World Cup on television. Screenings take place either at Eau Claire Cinemas or Globe Cinema, with each film announced one month in advance. Every month we take a fresh look at what's available and we select the best one. Subscriptions to the entire series have sold out, but single tickets are still available. For more details on Doc Soup, head to calgaryfilm.com. With your eCalgary update, I'm Tiffany Burns. So what exactly is home staging? I think everybody's got a little bit of different take on it. Mm -hmm. Can you share with me what you consider home staging is? So home staging is when you're hiring a professional who's going into your home, first determining the style of your home, if you've got a traditional home, tr transitional home, contemporary home, and being able to create 
uh, and put together a package as to what they're going to put in your home to make it sell and to make it look beautiful and to make all the spaces come together to create that picture. So, so home staging, so is, it's always a professional? Usually it is. Always and most of the time, you know, we recommend professionals go in and take a look at the rooms and be able to create that picture. Correct. You want your home to flow and you want to have the right yeah. groupings of furniture in the rooms that you're trying to showcase. And so ultimately, Kim, what you're supposed to get is that amazing photograph that's going to get people in the door. Absolutely. Exactly. Photography is key. Mm -hmm. um, okay, a lot of people in Calgary, limited budget. So, you know, but they need to maximize the house. Maybe they aren't making as much as they had wished or hoped for on the house. So with that limited budget, what would mm -hmm. you invest so in? So there's different ways to stage. There's partial stages where you're coming into a home and they live in the home. And so you need to help them with a bar area or a kitchen area or a bedroom area, or they just need to accessorize it and they need to put some artwork and some toss cushions and things like that. Then there's homes that are completely vacant and empty. So it really depends on the situation. I always say you don't have to stage a whole home in every single room. You got to focus on the rooms that, um, that need to be done, which yeah. is usually obviously your kitchen, your living, your dining room, your master bedroom. Uh, you know, it's not necessary always to do a basement and other bedrooms. So how far is too far though on staging? Some people you walk in and you can tell it's staged. You just know that there's no way a human being actually is staying in this space. So what is too far? and what is enough? Well, I think it's it's really important to, you know, get a feel for the home and be able to, you know, really first work on those key areas. And then, you know, depending on your budget, you can definitely do extra rooms. You can do a den and you can do bonus rooms, but not overdoing it. Obviously, keeping it yeah. clean and keeping it, um, you know, keeping everything flowing together because that's the key. And then think about the spaces that you wouldn't stage, but people are really wanting to have these days is storage. So you want to open up the closets, clean them out, and have them show really beautifully because a lot of people will open those doors. So you want to make sure that those storage areas are also yeah. up to speed. Mm, well, and if, you, if you fold, it's going to look like you have less than when you just shove, right? Mm -hmm. I try right. and tell my kids this all the time. Nobody listens to me. So when we're going back to staging and we're, we're taking a look at those first impressions, you had mentioned something about photography. Um, how critical do you oh, feel photography is? Photography is critical. When home buyers are thinking of purchasing a home, their first point of contact is online, and they have about seven seconds before they decide whether or not they want to go and see that place. So, so first impressions then? First impressions at front door. What, how important is like the curb appeal? Like what are things that people should be doing, especially when we have snow one day and mud the next? What are things that they can do to make the front of the house appeal better? Yeah. Well, obviously, leaving it clean, making mm -hmm. sure that, you know, you've got your, your snow shoveled, you've got your grass cut, whatever, you know, depending on the season, but it has to be clean and it has to be appealing. Your window should be cleaned and, you know, walking into that front entrance and it's just as important because the second you walk into that door, you know, you, it's, yep. you've got a very limit, you know if you're buying that house very quickly. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that goes back to, you know, you're, you're engaging all the senses. And what do you think about, like, a lot of times people go, paint your front door. Like, oh, I totally agree. It's it's the it's amazing for curb appeal. Adding a couple of potted plants shows a little bit of life and care is taken of, in that home. So I always like to see that or a wreath on the door, something that is inviting and welcoming. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love Pinterest for that stuff. Now I never yeah. get around to it. I end up finding somebody who can make it for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when it comes to staging. Um, if you could give it like a, a three sentence definition, if you could give it an actual definition of the benefit to the home seller, what would you say staging is? What is the benefit to the home seller? We already know how it's attracting the buyer, but for the home seller to put that time and effort in, what's the? I always say that just staging it is going to create the warmth. You know how everybody's walked into an empty home and you just, you really, you walk in there and you walk out and there's nothing that really stands out. And a lot of times when you've been to, you know, 20, 30 homes, there's always that one piece or that yeah. one piece of artwork or that one piece of furniture that, you know, you'll say, oh, do you remember that coach or do you remember that piece of art? Because mm -hmm. it really stands out. Yeah, so it's the memory points as well as Natasha was saying. But Kim, I also think that staging benefits the, the seller because it will increase their 
um, asking price Absolutely. because you can yeah. ask more for a staged home than you can for an empty home. And instead of doing a price reduction, um, you know, if your home isn't selling, you'll say, well, you know what, maybe we should put that money into doing home staging. Yeah, get the home ready so the next homeowner can visualize their life there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much. That Thank is you. awesome. All right, ladies, we're down to the last 30 seconds. Hit us with your advice. So my advice would be have your home staged professionally with a designer and it will definitely maximize your sale price and minimize your sell time. Excellent. Miss Anna? I say always get an expert eye to look into your home first before you even think about listing it for sale. We've become so immune to our surroundings that we don't even realize what could be a potential deal breaker. So I think get some, getting someone in to look at it first would be a good idea. Totally agree, totally agree. We've all walked past that one spot numerous times mm -hmm. and then we just forget it's there and that, that professional eye is going to catch up for us. Mm -hmm. Well, Definitely. join us online for the full panel discussion at homesandlifestyles.ca. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Sandra Lorada. I'm with EXP. Welcome to 16 Prestrick Estates Link Southeast in the heart of Mackenzie Town. You will notice that this is a beautiful bungalow laid out with a lot of natural light and one of the things I would like to point out right off the bat is that it has two front rooms. So the first room to my left here is an office as you can see beautiful big windows and French doors and then it offers another room in the front that can be a sitting room or perhaps a bedroom. Uh, on our way to the kitchen, you will notice the freshly new paint, soft grey colour and some new hardwood flooring which is a nice contrast to the colour on the walls. Follow me this way to the kitchen. Moving into the heart of the home, we have a very open and bright kitchen space. This kitchen has newly painted cabinets, new backsplash, and you'll notice the new stainless steel appliances. What I love about this kitchen is you can be preparing or cooking while looking on into the living room um, to, towards your guests, or even in this wonderful bright open nook area. You'll notice all of the staging throughout the home beautifully designed by design. The living room has a lot of natural light, vaulted ceilings, it has a three-sided fireplace that's very warm and cozy. And if you notice, the whole house has been furnished and beautifully staged by design. It's classically done, but I feel there's a lot of edgy pieces uh, and a lot of modern pieces as well. The one thing that I was drawn to was this beautiful piece of artwork. I feel it's soft, but yet edgy, and it's going to be a conversation starter whenever anyone comes over. Everybody wants serenity in their master bedroom, and here you have it. So you'll walk your way into the master ensuite. It has double sinks, heated floor, a walk-in closet, and truly a master retreat. Thank you for taking this tour with me in this beautiful home. This is 16 Presswick Estates Link in the heart of Mackenzie Town. I'm Sandra Larada. I hope to hear from you soon. If you have any questions about this property, contact me at 587-581-1961 or you can reach me anytime at sandralarada.com. Have a great day. Okay, I'm here. Show Home Furniture, Sunridge Mall, Shana. Okay, we are so excited! <laughs> We are going to be doing a free giveaway. I am not telling you what it is. You have to tune into our episode next week, but go over to our Facebook page for details. It's Homes and Lifestyle. Check out below. Homes and Lifestyles Canada shot on location at Hayworth. Hair and makeup provided by Swizzle Stick Salon Spa. A big thank you to our sponsors and supporters, Kahane Law, Hayworth, A&A Interiors, Canada Mortgage Direct, APHIS, and Design.